So what we have seen till now is we created a to-do list initially and uh, we initially we created it using a single component. We wrote all the logic and everything in one component. After that, we refactored the code to, uh, to make it using multiple components and we used add rate input and add rate output for the component communication between the parent and child components, okay? So let's say this was working totally fine like this. When we click on add task, the task component was getting loaded below and the delete functionality was working using the add rate output and event emitter, okay? Okay, so we can make some improvements here. Like what we did earlier was, or deleting the um, deleting the task. What we did was in the task component, we uh, not in the task component exactly. In the to do component, what we were doing is we were taking an ID which was initially zero. So to this was done to uh, resemble the index of the array. Okay. So what we were doing is initially. The ID was set to zero. So the first item was assigned ID zero. And the next <clears throat> for the next item, the ID was incremented. So the next item will have ID as one. So it will have zero, one, two, three, like that. All tasks will have ID like that. So it is just like the index. So what we can do is we can remove these things. So this, why did we do this? We did this because when we were passing the, uh, Pass to the object. Uh, we were not passing any index or something, and from there we were not able to send the index back here. So we did like that. So what we can do is we can bring some improvements here. So for example, so let me do one thing. Here we were passing the task to the child component, isn't it? Now, and what is task obj? Task object is the object. Uh, that is the input uh, property that we have in our child component. That is the task component. So let's see, here we have the task obj. So it's like that we can have another input property. So let me put, let me have another input property called the uh, index, okay. Index is of type any. And then, so that means we can pass uh, <clears throat> so we were passing task object to the child in the same way we can pass the index from the parent as well. Okay, so let me do one thing in the to do component, just like the task object, let me pass another property, uh, another value. So let's say this is index because that is the property that we created. So index equal to what we will pass. So how do we get the index? We can get the index in the ng4. So here I can write let i is equal to index okay so this i i need to pass from here okay <clears throat> now so now we can remove all these things i won't pass this id from here okay so let me remove this id as number and uh, what is this this dot id okay we can remove all these things and I don't need to in increment the ID as well. Okay, fine. Then what we can do is, so here we removed all the ID. So that means in the child component, we will have only this task OBJ. So what we are passing from here, we are passing the task. That means every object we are passing. So that means the object that is being passed now is this, okay? So that means this object only contains the val property, not the ID property that we had earlier. Okay, because we are we have removed the ID. So in the child component, we don't have this. Uh, we can't write task obj dot ID. It will throw undefined. Okay, we don't have that. So instead of this, what we need to write del of what? So in the task dot component dot tf, we have this index which we are getting it from the parent, isn't it? So we can pass this index here. Okay, so here I don't, uh, I won't pass it. I will directly write it here. So del, in the del, I don't want any arguments here. 
and uh, this dot del event dot emit emit what I will emit this dot index okay that's what we need to do so what is happening let's see again from here I am passing two things task and index to the child in the child what we are getting in the child we are getting both the task obj and index so the task obj is uh, <coughs> used to create the uh, this name of the task and the button delete button what it is doing it is taking the um, index and uh, passing the index to the parent again okay so in the parent what is happening in the parent in the dollar event in the dollar event we will have the index value so that index value is being taken by the delete task method so here index in place of id what i can write i can write index okay so here i'll write index okay so that's fine let's save this and uh, check once whether this is working fine or not so let's say car wash and then i have another one like insurance okay so i can delete them one by one okay so that means this working totally fine okay so now this is an improved version of the uh, to-do list that we created earlier okay now let's write something like car wash and add it so now this is a simple to-do list so we want some more functionality here so what is the meaning of to-do list to-do list means we are creating a list of uh, uh, things that we want to do that means these are some pending things that we need to uh, do it as soon as possible okay so that means when i write here car wash and uh, click on add task this car wash task is created here that means i need to do this car wash i need to complete this task okay so uh, what i want to do here is i i don't want to put this delete button directly I don't want to delete it. I should only be able to delete it if I complete this task. Okay. If it is not completed, then I should not be able to do it because it has to be done at any cost, isn't it? So what I want here is I want some buttons here. So I want a button called a done. So after this car wash is uh, text is displayed here, along with that one done button will be there. So if I click on that done, that means the task is done. So when will I click that uh, done button? After I complete the car wash, I'll click on done. So then it will be marked as done. That means it is completed. Only after completing, I can delete it. Okay, that is point number one. And point number two is, I want one undo button as well. So that means, so maybe by mistake, I clicked on done. So I should be able to undo it also. Okay, so let's say I clicked on done and then if I, uh, so the moment I click on done, the done button should be hidden and one undo button should be displayed. Okay, so if I click on undo, again the task will be marked as incomplete. If I click on done, the mark, uh, the task is marked as complete. If I click on undo, it will be marked as incomplete. Okay, that is point number two. And point number three is the moment I click on done, the delete button should be enabled okay so the delete button will always be there but it will be disabled when i create the task the delete button will be disabled when i click on done the delete button will be enabled so that is the functionality we want so for that let me create first create the buttons then we'll think about the logic what we want to do so in the app task so in the task uh, before the delete button i want to add one more button okay what is this button this one will be undo button <clears throat> and and one more button is there that is the done button okay button done okay and i want to give some uh, margin here because there is no gap there so i'll apply a class class equal to something like mr20 okay so I'll uh, define this class here dot mr20 and uh, margin right 20px. Okay, now save this, go to the browser, 
and if i write something it is coming like this okay now we need to use ng if and one we need to create one flag to hide and show this done and undo button and also another uh, flag for uh, disabling this delete button okay so how do we use this uh, done and undo buttons so when i click on done it's uh, it is supposed to mark the task as done and uh, the undo button what it will do it will it is supposed to mark the task as undone that is not done okay so how do i uh, tell that the task is done or undone and that, uh, done or not done how do i say that so for that what we need is we need some status for that particular task so when we are creating the task in the um, to do component so here what we are doing is we are passing only a value isn't it that is only the name of the task but along with that what i will or what i want to create is i want to create one status field as well okay so what will the status store it will store false by default that means it is not done okay when i click on done this status will be set to true okay so according to this condition the done and undone button will be shown or hidden okay so let's say we put we have put the status here so that means so i save this go to the browser and if i add now something a b c so when i click on this add task now not only a b c is coming to the child not only the name is coming but also the status is coming so according to this status we'll try to show and hide the buttons so what we have here task obj we have the task obj here the whole task obj is coming here so what we can do let's try to do this so in the done button we can put one ng if ng if is equal to task obj dot status okay so if the status is true the initially the status is false so the done should be displayed so i'll put a not here and in the undo button what will happen star ng if equal to task obj dot status okay this is what needs to be done now but we didn't write the logic for changing the status isn't it so what we can do is in the done button we need to bind some method so what will that method do when i click on the done so now you can see now what will happen i have uh, given the uh, ng if right so if i save this and uh, go to the browser you can see if i add a task car wash okay so now the undo button is not coming why because the status is false now so that's why only the done button is coming okay now when i click on the done button what should happen when i click on the done button a method should be called which will uh, change the status of the um, task okay so <clears throat> so let me create that method so what i'll do is in the done button let me bind the click event to a method so let's say and name it as change status okay so what will this change status do this change status will simply um, reverse the status that means actually not reverse not always reverse uh, we have two buttons done and undo done what will done do done will change the status from false to true and undo will change the status from true to false okay okay fine so now let me uh, use uh, let me define this change status button so just after the delete let me have a change status 
method. Okay. Now, the change status, what it will do? Uh, it needs to change the status. And so it can't directly change the status because the whole task list array is in the parent component, isn't it? So from here, we need to tell the parent component that please change the status of this particular task. It has to tell the parent which task it, need, it needs to change the status, isn't it? So here, from here, we need to pass the index as well. So here, we already have the index, isn't it? So from here, we, we need to say that on this index, change the status. Okay. So we have to say that. So from here, that means we'll pass two things. One thing is uh, what status it needs to set. That means it will change the status to true. So, uh, so let me not uh, take it as change status. Let me take it something like uh, done, okay? Make it as done and here it will be undo, okay? So it is not change status, it will make it as done. So let me write here done. So now, so from here we need to pass something to the parent. That means we need, again, we need some event emitter, isn't it? So we'll create another event emitter, just like the delete one. We'll have another event emitter. Let's say let add rate output and rate output. So let me give a name for that. So that means that may be done task. Okay. I'm naming it as done task. Done task is equal to new event emitter. And we'll use this done task here in the done method. So what this done method will do? This dot done task this dot done task dot emit what it will emit it will emit two things so it will emit as an or let me emit it as an object okay so it will first it will set the status so what status it will set it will set the status to true okay next thing is it will pass the index so let me write index index is what index is uh, this dot index Okay, so these two things will be passed as an object to the <clears throat> parent. Okay, this is the child. So from here, it will be passed to the parent and the parent will receive this. And what the parent will do, it will check for this index and set the status to true. Okay. So now we need to go to the parent and there we need to uh, specify this done task event emitter. That means this event we need to uh, have it in the uh, this app task. So here we have the del event just like that. We'll have another event. What is the event name? Mm, let me check one. The event name is done task, isn't it? So you can copy this and uh, here write done task. <coughs> done task is equal to some method we need to bind it to some method okay so let me name it uh, let me name it as done task only we'll create this method this method is not there in the ts file so here we'll have the dollar event so in the dollar event what will come in the dollar event one object will come which object this object see here this object will come which has the status and index okay so in the parent we'll have the uh, in object in this dollar event now let's uh, go to the ts file and uh, declare or define this done task method which we just uh, created uh, which we just specified now okay so in the done task what we'll do in the done task it is uh, bringing some dollar event isn't it that is it means yeah, we need to put some argument here so let me take it as what uh, what I shall take it maybe uh, okay let me take it as x no problem x is of type n okay so that the dollar event is x for example then what I need to do so when I'm uh, from here in that x what is there the status true is there and the index is there so that means uh, which at that index I need to set the status to true okay so that means what, how do I access that index? So we already have the 
task list array. So I'll just use it. This dot task list. This dot task list of what will be the this dot task list of index. I need to pass the index. So where is that index? It is inside x, isn't it? So I'll write x dot index. Okay. Was it x dot index? Yes, it is x dot index. And the status will be x dot status because the whole thing is x. The whole object is x. So true will be accessible by x dot status and index will be accessible by x dot index. Okay. So here task list of x dot index. Ah. So that means we are getting that particular task. That task we have to change the so I'm now I'm accessing this object. So here I have to change the status. So that means dot status dot status is equal to what is the status I want to set x dot status. Okay. So this way I am uh, changing the status from there. Okay. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> or uh, you can do one more thing. Instead of doing all these things, you can only pass the um, index from here. For example, let me show you in the emit, uh, I can pass only the index, for example. Let me pass like this. Only the index I'm passing. So I don't need the status because what I'm doing is uh, when I click on done, it will always set the status to true, isn't it? So I didn't, I don't need to say it here that uh, we are passing true. So what I can do now in the parent, uh, <clears throat> in the to dot component dot ts x dot index, uh, not x dot index, x itself in the index is the index. So I write here index. So here I can write this dot task list of index dot status is equal to directly I can write true. Are you getting what I'm saying? So what is happening here? From the task component, what I'm passing, I'm passing only the index. So I'm telling that at this index, set the status to true. Okay. So in the to-do list component, when I'm receiving it here in the done task, this event is having the that uh, particular index value and that index value uh, I'm using it here. Okay, this is the task list of index dot status is equal to true. Okay, same thing needs to be done for the undo button as well. Okay, so for the undo, what we'll do, we'll just do the opposite of it. Okay, so let me create something like this click is equal to undo. And uh, let me specify the undo method here. After the done, I have the undo method here. So undo for the undo, um, I think uh, we need one more event emitter. Okay. So add rate output undo task is equal to new event emitter so here i write this dot what is that undo task <clears throat> undo task dot emit what i will emit again i will emit the index only so this dot index okay i'm passing the index now in the parent again in a similar way i'll create the undo task uh, event here i'll create another undo task method it will have the dollar event dollar event is there okay so let me create this undo task so undo task okay everything is fine undo task yeah fine so here uh, just after the done task i'll have the undo task method so it will again in the dollar event it will bring the index which is of type any let me put it like that and then this dot task list 
of index dot status is equal to false okay so this way we have uh, uh, written the functionality for both the buttons that is the done and undo button what is the done done task uh, done button doing it is changing the status from false to true and the undo button is changing the status from true to false okay so by changing the status like this what will happen in that particular index, the status will be changed. So as a result, what will happen? Uh, we are passing the current task to the child, isn't it? So here in the task component, we are receiving the task object. So that means if I change the status in the parent, so what is happening? From the parent, again, the task object is being updated here, okay? Immediately, the status will be updated. And according to the status, this done and undo button will be shown and hidden okay let's check that whether that is working fine or not okay let's see this so let me uh, add something like car insurance okay and i click on add task now when i click on done what should happen it should change the status from false to true and immediately the done button should be hidden and automatically the undo button should come isn't it so I click on done button. You can see the done button has gone and the undo button has come. Again, if I click on undo button, the undo button has gone and the done button has come. Why is this happening? Because we have used the ng if directive here, which is checking the status. And according to the status, it is showing or hiding the both buttons. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Now what we need to do is we are changing the status, but we are not able to see here that uh, so what is the function, what is the purpose that we added this button to mark it as done? So how do I mark it as done? In the code, it is getting changed. The status is getting changed. But by seeing this text, are we able to say whether it is done or not? No, we are not able to say that. So what I can do is when I click on done, some marks should be there. Let's say I can strike this text with a line and say that, yeah, it is done. Okay, when I click on undo, again, that line should go and the normal text should be displayed. So something like that we'll try to do. Okay, so for that, what we will do is we will, so when I click on done, a class will be applied to this text, which will, so that means class means some style will be applied so that the task will be strike through with a line. And then again, if I click on undo, the class will be removed, the style will be removed. Okay. Let's see how to do that. So at first, let's do one thing. Let's create the class that will help us to apply the style. That means what style we are trying to apply? We're trying to strike the text, okay? <clears throat> so in the task component.css, let me create a class. So let me name it as something like strike, okay? So in the strike, what I'll write, I'll write a text decoration. Text decoration is line through, okay? So this text decoration line through, what it will do, it will strike the text uh, with a line in the middle, okay? Now, what we need to do is this class or this style, we need to apply according to the condition. What is the condition? According to the status. If the status is true, then you apply that so initially the status is false isn't it so initially the class will not be applied the moment i click on the done button the status will become true and if it is true then apply this class okay so how do i do that so let me show you here um, i'll use i'll use property binding okay class is equal to so here we already have a class isn't it so this class also i will include it here no need to write a separate class for this okay so this mr20 we need it all the time so first see how do we use this property binding for editing adding a class okay so in the class is equal to what i'll write i'll first write the condition what is the condition task obj dot status okay this is the condition if this condition is true so we'll use the ternary operator if this condition is true we need to apply a class. What is the class that we created? That is the strike class, okay? 
and if it is false then we have to write after the colon colon what class we want so if it is uh, false then we don't want to add any class okay so i'll keep it as blank string okay but the problem is we need the so let's see i'll show you so let's save this and go to the browser let's show you so for example i write car wash i click on add text so okay fine that is not a problem so the separate class is not creating any issue this is always there okay fine so what is happening here if the task obj dot status is true it, it will apply the strike class that means it will strike the text and if it is false it will not apply any strike class okay it will remove that class actually so now see when i click on done the button is changing to undo and the line is there so that means it is done okay if you want to undo it you just click on the undo button that's it okay so <clears throat> all this is done but one small thing is left that is i told you initially that when i add a task let's say car wash and i click on add task i should not be able to delete it okay so i will keep the button but what i'll do is i'll disable this button if the status is false okay if the status is true only then uh, enable it i can do one more thing that is here also i can uh, apply a one ng if and hide it so let's say this one this one i can put it here okay so when i write car wash what will happen car wash and add task the delete button is not there the moment i click on done the delete button is also coming undo is also coming this can be done but i want to show you a better way for that so what do i do for that so for that i will have one disabled uh, attribute here okay so let me write something like this so here also i'm using property binding just to show you another way to use the property binding i am using disable otherwise i could have used ng as well okay so disable is equal to what will be the condition task obj dot status if it is false it will be disabled so that means i'll put it put a not here that means if the task dot status is false it will be disabled if it is true that means if it is done only then it should be able to delete it okay now let's see car wash so now you can see it is disabled the moment i click on done undo has come delete has come and delete is enabled and the strike text is there so when i click on again undo again the delete button is disabled okay like this shopping and let's say insurance premium then what else uh, let's say school pickup okay something like this so initially all the status are false so that's why the done button is being shown and the delete button is disabled suppose i did the shopping and i click on done what will happen the delete button is coming and the undo is here okay undo is there and i did the car wash also that means the car wash is also complete so this both the tasks are getting the strike text class and i have the delete option so here i can't click the delete but here i can delete it so whatever tasks are done i can delete whatever tasks are not done i can't delete so then i click i completed the, this insurance premium payment that one also i can delete and after completing the school keep pick up only then i can delete it okay so this is how we have uh, improvised the previous to do list that we had created earlier we had one single component now we have how many components we have the app component so from the code we can see we have the app component we have the task uh, to do component and the task component okay and we use that read input and address output along with event emitter to create uh, to establish some con uh, communication between the parent and child and we also implemented the done undo and delete button properly 
Okay. Okay. That's fine. This is one for this session. Okay.